morning. Welcome to September 29th. It's National Coffee Day. Although for me, and maybe you, every day is National Coffee Day, something I can't live without. Welcome to Wednesday Wonderings. Um, also speaking of it being Coffee Day, you know you can learn even more about coffee if you come along with us to Costa Rica. Um, just the last little call here for this tour as it's going to start getting close to the time where we'll have to give up some air seats. Uh, do keep that in mind if you want info. Again, always check those links below and give me a call. Um, but you know, I was thinking here too, what happened to fall? We we're suddenly in these 90 degree days again, which granted, I, I really like summer, but I'm ready for fall. Um, which made me think, you know, come winter, I'll be crying, but you could be saying, what happened to winter when you're sitting there on the beach in Florida or on the beach of Costa Rica or some of these other places. So do keep in mind, time is drawing near. Um, sadly, time is running out to make your reservations for these tours, so please don't miss out. Uh, just a few things to go over today. I don't have a whole lot again. Um, just week-to-week -week things that as the days progress and things change, uh, I just like to kind of keep you updated on, on our end of what's going on. I know I mentioned before about the Canadian Rockies. It's official. It is ready. I will have this put into our software system here yet today. This is something you can call to get the brochure for, or again, check those links. Um, I'm excited about the Canadian Rockies. I, of course, I get excited about all your all the tours, but um, having been there, it is a phenomenal tour. Absolutely beautiful. We'll do be doing part of it by rail. It's the Via Rail. So a lot of times I know people look at this and they say it's the Canadian Rockies Via Rail, meaning by rail. Well, Via is actually the name of the transportation rail system in Canada. So um, it's like the brand, like our Amtrak, theirs is Via Rail. So we will be using Via Rail on a portion of this tour. And you'll be visiting three national parks there in uh, Canada. So give me a call. Um, we'll be having a Zoom meeting or some type of show for this in the near future. I'll keep you posted on that as that date um, gets set. Also, just to let you know, I know we spoke, I think maybe it was last week, which seems like so long ago, um, about Myrtle Beach. It is ready. Um, it's ready to be reserved. I have it all set up. You can check it out online. Um, I do have a couple people already on it, so don't miss out on that. But I just want you to know that it is um, ready to be um, available for you to reserve. Also available to reserve is our Amish country tour, which is taking you through the states of Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Um, this is an awesome tour. I love going through the Amish country. You come home with all kinds of uh, extra little gifts that they give you, things that you've seen, um, just great memories. This one I'm excited for also the fact that in Indiana, they have their beautiful quilt gardens. You'll be getting to see some of that as well. Who knows, might prompt you to start your own little new flower bed of a quilt garden at home. This one, I will say, I do have, I believe, 12 or 14 people already signed up for this tour. So I think if it's one you're um, debating about, do call me and at least get your name in there because seats could go quickly. Um, sometimes things just suddenly take off and, and they fill, fill nicely, which in that case brings me to Branson. Um, Branson is officially full. We will start a waiting list. Do know if you are interested, do put your name on that wait list. If we get enough people on that list that seriously want to go, it is possible we can uh, put together a second motor coach to go. Uh, otherwise, sometimes unfortunately things happen and people are not able to, um, to go, which then opens up a space that we could fill you in on. Also, just some last calls. Um, the Celebration Bell. This is a great little fall foliage day cruise. It's on a Saturday afternoon. Um, it's October 9th. I do need more people in order to make this tour operate. Um, if we could get at least five or six more, um, we can guarantee that it can go. 
Um, for those of you who are currently on it and are now in a panic that you might not get to go, um, maybe you can go out and talk to some friends or family, relation, um, see if they're interested as well. Who knows, if we can grab those extra people, there'll be no worries and, and you'll have a great day out on the river. Um, also last call is our DuPont holiday. I know it seems like it's a ways off with the 1st of December, but it really isn't. We're already basically into October. Um, hotels are needing their numbers in other places as well. So I will be having to make a decision soon as to whether or not we have enough people to make that tour currently operate. Um, last calls. The other one would be our Florida Keys, the Warm Breeze Florida Keys. I have over half full, um, but this is one also I have to pay air deposits and purchase tickets for the airline within this next week. Uh, also, the Parrot Bay Resort in Florida Keys will be wanting final numbers. Uh, so if that's one you're even debating about, think hard, please, and give us a call so we know whether or not we'll have enough people to be able to make this, this a go. Uh, let's see. So this last week, in the works, I have been working on um, a fabulous fall tour for next year. Um, sadly, we didn't get a fall tour going out east this year, but next year is a new year. Um, I'm looking forward to, to more travel. So what I have started and almost done, could be maybe three, four weeks more, is a trip into New York City. So we will do the city itself for a couple of days. We will be seeing a Broadway play. We will be staying in Times Square. You will have some free time that if you want to see another Broadway play um, another evening, you are welcome to do that on your own. We can help you out with that if you need assistance. Um, from there, we're heading into the beautiful Hudson Valley. There is so much to see and do there. It's a very, very pretty area. Hopefully the trees should be in their full glory of color. So that will be um, for next year. I apologize, I didn't write the dates down to let you know, but I think it is like late September, early October, right at the edge of, of where those trees will be really starting to, to come into some color. And then I know I had mentioned the Colorado and New Mexico trains. That one is, it's done. Um, I just need a few more final little things, something like a big detail, like a brochure for you. But I will get that information to my gal, Sandra, who puts together those beautiful brochures for you. And we'll get that up and ready, hopefully within this next week. Um, so you'll be able to call and make reservations on that. So for that one, keep an eye on the website. As soon as it's ready, you'll see it pop up there. Um, you can be one of the first ones on, on that tour. I can't think of really anything else that's been going on in the office. Um, it's just still me, bear with me. I know there's days where I do apologize. I'll get a phone call and I'll have people in. It might be an hour or two before I can return your call and I am sorry, but I promise I will always return that call. If there's anything else I can do for you in the meantime, you know where we are, feel free to stop by. Drop an email, give me a phone call, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much for joining me. Enjoy National Coffee Day, and we'll see you again next week. Take care.